Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this week's reading. I will be working with the Tarot of the Divine. This was given to me as a gift by my clients, so thank you very much. It's a beautiful deck. I love the energy, I love the artwork. So we're gonna tap into these cards and see what messages are coming through. As always guys, these are general readings, so take the parts that do resonate and let the rest go. I'm just burning some sage before I get started and let's get into the reading. What messages do are, are there for the collective and we already have one card here so what messages need to go through okay feeling more like four cards for this week <clears throat> okay and four cards actually fell out okay this is interesting so we start with the page of cups okay Eight of Cups. So I feel this is this is your energy, okay? You want to start something fresh, you want to start something new. There is this childlike innocence in this card, this childlike energy. I want to move in a new direction, I want to start something new. But I can't help but notice there is a red thread which this which this little bunny is trying to almost it's kind of around his leg so it's like you have this childlike play like innocence but it's it's like the feeling that i'm getting is be careful if there are people around you who have secret agenda or they have that agenda to trap and trap you or to me or to uh, make you trip in some way right and if you look at it the bunny is so innocent right that's what i'm getting it's like it's i hate to put it like this it's like people who trust who you trust or people you think are in your corner but it's like they are trying to fabricate i don't know why i'm getting fabricated story uh, or fabricate a lie about you okay we'll see how this reading goes okay now we have the high priestess but it came out in the reverse okay now with the high priestess coming out in the reverse you may be you may be either trusting this person completely or you may have trusted this person in the past it could be someone from your past it could be someone you already know and like to the point like sometimes you trust certain people to the point where you ignore the red flags that's really what i'm getting so your intuition is telling you to pay attention to the signs and not be not be complacent or not just ignore it that everything's okay or everything's uh, everything looks good on surface now we'll see how the story goes but that's really what I'm feeling with this I'm also getting that some secrets or some truths were highlighted or some truths came out and now you know the truth for what it is okay now interestingly we have the four of coins and the two of coins okay but the depiction in both is very similar like she's kind of curled up here she's holding on to her assets and she's holding on to her babies to yes there is a baby and there is a bear cup she's holding on to so let me just see what is this I just feel okay what I'm getting is you may get an offer or an invite from someone with whom in the past that person may have broken your trust that person may have done something that caused you anxiety that caused you to feel a certain way and now you are very protective you are very protective of your energy. You're very protective of your family. You see how this bird is kind of, you know, protecting her. I also feel like you have um, 
your angels and guides are protecting you this is how you feel this is how you feel with certain individuals as well because because of all the things that you have experienced with them you're not you just don't feel comfortable uh being vulnerable with those people okay there there there's something in the past where you felt like you made a wrong judgment about a certain person or situation or you felt like you went more with how you're feeling than your intuition and even if there were red flags you kind of ignored it and now you're you're like protecting yourself you this may be just one individual this may be a group of individuals everyone's story is different so take it as it applies but I get the sense that you're holding on to your dear life, you're holding on to your assets, you are protecting your energy because something that you saw as playful or innocent was not all that. I, I want to um, see what more messages if I get around this, if there's anything else that Spirit wants to give, but this is what I'm getting from um, this like you're very protective of whatever you built for yourself you're very protective of your energy and yeah, this one wants to come out and it's a situation where you may have ignored the red flags or you may have taken someone you you may have uh, thought that the situation was trustworthy but it's not, or you may have thought this person, the situation, this friendship. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop at this. All right, so we have the emperor, <clears throat> excuse me, showing up here. And we have the world card. The five of coins. And the star, okay. Hmm. For some, you're closing out a cycle with a person. Okay, you're closing out a cycle with a person that has clearly shown you that they cannot be trusted. Okay, so you're calling it a com completion. Okay, you're you're very protective of your energy you're you're like this is this is my decision this is these are my boundaries this is how i'm laying the ground this is how it is and i'm closing out this cycle where i have to feel where i am vulnerable and then i am it's almost like i'm robbed off because of being open because because i was open in the past because i was trustworthy because i was forthcoming and it's like i've learned that i cannot be like this in every situation and you know it's that energy of shutting down i feel like i need to shut down with this card i'm clearly getting that that sense of cloaking yourself protecting yourself and you know taking care of like not being so open with your emotions is what I'm getting. Like if you were open about your emotions or if you were open about how you feel about certain situations, you're not doing that. You're, you're using your logic now. You're being more logical. You're closing on cycles with individuals who, you know, with the page of cups, this is a very innocent, childlike, loving energy. But I'm, I'm drawn to this, you know, it's like, he's he's got a smile on his face and his cup and he's like he's in his own bubble of happiness and not even noticing what's going on behind the scenes so that's really what i'm getting it's like you were being open and you know open-hearted loving kind generous and then you went through something that made you shut yourself down that made you question um question yourself change your thought process change the way you are looking at things and you you realize that you know some people are going to take advantage of this this childlike 
innocence not not that i'm saying that you shouldn't be childlike it's it's good to be childlike but it's also like you are learning where where you can be this open and vulnerable and where you need to protect yourself you are actually learning that balance and you're closing out cycles because with the five of coins there have been many situations where you felt abandoned you felt like um rejected okay you felt rejected and you see this little girl she's like this little girl that's outside this it looks like a church but she's out in the cold so you were left out in the cold in situations that you know in situations where you thought that these are your people or that this these people would support you but that wasn't the case they they just kind of um abandoned you like you get the word abandoned and with the star card you see how she's wishing she's wishing on a star i feel like you've done a lot of healing on yourself you've done a lot of soul searching uh, even in those moments where, where you felt rejected or you felt abandoned by others, the divine, you had the hand of the divine protecting you, okay? The hand of the divine healing you. And I'm also drawn to the stars here. Yes, she is. She's abandoned and she's rejected, but there are five stars here. So you were, even though you were left out, rejected, abandoned, left out in the cold, you probably saw signs or you probably felt certain energies protecting you, guiding you in moments where, you know, your ground was shaken, okay? Let me see what else I'm getting. Some of you are longing for your father. I don't know why I'm getting this. This will not apply to everyone. Just take it if it does. Uh, but there, I'm, I'm just drawn to this card here. And when I look at this, it's like you, you are missing a father figure or someone, someone, this could be someone even in the spirit realm that you are really longing and missing. And this person was always supportive to you, always in your corner. Uh, it could have been a lover. It could be ha have been a father figure. It could have been anyone, but it's a male figure that you are missing. And you, this person always had your back, was very protective of you, very loving, very kind. And you are missing and you're like, I am seeing, and with some of you, you are seeing a different side to people. Like you may have thought that these people were with you, but then it's like they flipped on you. I don't know why I'm getting that that storyline as well. It's like you thought something else and the storyline flips. I'm also seeing the death card at the bottom of the deck. You have definitely transformed through all this you've transformed yourself with the death and the star you've transformed yourself i also feel with the high priestess um in the reverse it's like first if you were sharing uh and open and you know sharing everything with everyone like you're you're now keeping things to yourself you're like no i'm i can't i'm not gonna be open and vulnerable with everyone because then they burn me out or they just abandon me or they misuse it's like I'm, I'm trustworthy and i'm open and then it's like i'm taken advantage of and now i'm going to be focusing on what works for me what's good for me what's healing to me now in all these pictures what's interesting is she's holding a lamb here this one's holding a doll here this one's holding two babies here so it's, it's in all these pictures they're holding on to something and they're all uh, babies and lambs and dolls for some of you this has to do with your childhood okay I'm also getting that this has to do with your childhood where you were felt you felt abandoned or you felt misunderstood or you felt like you had to bear the burden 
by yourself or you had to grow up really fast okay you had to be the adult in the family and you were surrounded time and again you saw uh your family members or your caregivers to be untrustworthy even tricksters i don't know why i'm getting that but untrustworthy and you had to be your own best friend you had to grow up really fast and you had to learn you see how she is with her doll and it's almost like her doll is comforting her and she's comforting the doll and she feels like the doll is comforting her maybe you had a favorite doll maybe you had a favorite toy and uh, or maybe you had a favorite pet and it's, it's like you found comfort in each other because it was always this this feeling of being lonely this feeling of uh and for some this is how you are feeling right now you may have people around you but it's like you're just always asking the divine for help and even if you have these people around you i get the sense that either they don't understand you or you have to figure out the solution yourself it, it's it's really something <laughs> with today's reading okay there there is a bit of underhanded energy that i'm picking here it's like people that you trust they flip they flip the other way or they kind of flip on you and you realize you can't trust them but through this process you've become stronger your faith in the divine has become stronger you have up leveled through these situations with these people where you felt isolated Some of you are channeling and connecting with your spirit guides, okay? And through your circumstances, it has triggered a massive growth, a different perspective of how you look at life now. You were always dealing with people that you thought that gave that impression that they were supporting you but when when the time came it's like they were not there they they were not there or they rejected you in some way and but I'm seeing this as a wrap like you are closing out a cycle you're wrapping a cycle you're like I'm done with this. I'm done with feeling like this. And you you are currently you are protecting your assets, maybe you're you're protecting your children, you're protecting your heart. There's a lot of cloaking, protecting because of what has happened. And with the star, you I also feel like you're missing someone or you are missing something or some figurehead or this could be someone in the spirit realm that you keep praying to or you keep hoping that they will send you signs, they will answer your prayers, they will kind of be there for you and you're hoping that your prayers are being heard. So this cycle of feeling lonely or being abandoned, it may come from your childhood where you went through a lot of tough lessons by yourself and you learned how to grow through those trials, through those tests, you learned to love yourself. You could have had 
you know parents who did not see your worth or who uh, could not see your value or you felt even though you were surrounded by people you felt like this little girl outside you know in the cold and you learned at an early age how to how to be your own mommy and how to be your own daddy because you had to work through those things and you've become and because of everything that you have gone through you have this faith this undeniable this unbreakable bond with the divine because you know through every storm it's like miraculously you are saved by by an angel almost by an energy by uh, some figure head in the spirit realm who somehow protects you even from these tricksters from these tricks from the lies from the deceptions from whatever is being played out you you somehow somehow i don't know how but somehow you kind of just dodge the bullet that that's what i'm seeing in this reading somehow you dodge the bullet somehow you come out stronger and it's and every time you go through this, your faith in the divine, it goes up. It goes more stronger. You become more stronger and clearer. And the signs, you're seeing the signs, you're seeing the synchronicity. And you may feel time and time, I am seeing from this reading, you may get into the loop of why am I suffering like this? Why am I constantly attracting people who use me like this? Why do I attract people who abandon me? This may be something that you keep playing in your mind. But then there is this realization where you are realizing you are one with the divine you are you you were never separated as a child you are not separated even now and you are allowing people to play their roles in however shape and form they want to play if people want to trick you if people want to play their games if even people want to do whatever they want to do you allow them to do that but rather than feeling like i am abandoned i'm alone there there is no one i can trust i am lonely there is a shift in paradigm there is a shift in your thinking i may be alone but i am not lonely the divine is with me. My spirit guides are with me. My angels are with me. They're constantly sending me signs. They're constantly protecting me. I am protected. I am very loved. That is, that is how I'm feeling. Yes, I do feel all these energies where you were abandoned. You opened your heart and your trust was broken. I see that here. I see that here. I see the contrast between these two images, right? But you have found peace. You have found strength. And you are now remembering. Okay, you are now remembering who you are. Some of you are really connected with Archangel Michael. That I just got that from this card. Really connected with this warrior energy. And this is who you identify yourself as well. As this warrior it's like the peaceful warrior, the compassionate warrior. You have you have compassion in your heart, yet you have the strength of a warrior, right? So some of you are very connected to a father figure or a male figure. And you are also very connected with Archangel Michael. You could be praying to Archangel Michael or asking him for help. But I am feeling that the divine is with you. And even when you slip or you miss out on a red flag with the high priestess reverse, like you're not honoring your intuition or you miss out on something, somehow you are still protected with the star. You, you have this connection to the divine. You have this protection no matter what is being played out. And your trust in the divine by the day is, is just going stronger and stronger. That's, that's what I'm feeling. 
this is this is the trans with the death in, um, in at the bottom of the deck. This is the transformation that you are experiencing. That no matter what ghosts or you know whoever tries to scare you, you, you are this brave soul. You keep it going. You keep you keep going because you have this faith. You have this ultimate trust and you have completely surrendered to the divine that yes i may have been broken down i have me i may have been beaten down in the past but i am not that story i'm just gonna take the wisdom from the past i'm gonna take all that i have learned and and i'm gonna trust my path and i'm gonna trust the divine and i'm gonna surrender to that so I do feel that switch in the energy and it's beautiful and truly you are protected by a higher force. You are protected by a father figure. Some of you are praying to your father. I don't know. I just get that very strongly. You have a connection with a male figure and it's, it's screaming in this reading today. You have a connection with a male figure in the spirit realm. Okay. So I hope this resonates with you. Thank you so much for watching my readings and subscribing. I wish you a great week. I will see you soon.